Today, we're gonna to be talking about something that I hear so much of as a hairdresser. Which haircuts are gonna be best for me because I have fine or thinning hair? Now, I wanted to start off by defining fine hair versus thinning hair because those are actually two separate things. Fine hair is just actually kind of talking about the diameter of the strand itself, right? So a thicker diameter would fall into a thicker category of hair. Finer hair would fall into a smaller diameter of the strand itself. Now, also understand that there's something called density. Now, what density essentially means is this, is if we took those strands, how close they live to each other. So a person with fine hair could have a lot of density, and those are the people that often say, I have a lot of fine hair, right? You could have a person who has thick hair, but maybe not a lot of density. So per square inch, they're not covering as much ground on the scalp. Those are the things that you wanna understand. When you are losing hair, so you're losing some of that density. This could be finer hair. If you started out with finer hair, it could be thick hair, but either way, you're losing some density. There are a couple reasons for this. It's usually stress, diet, um, sometimes medication. Um, my first advice to you is if you are noticing that, I would say go to your doctor. Say, hey, something's happening. I'm starting to notice it. I'm starting to lose a little bit more hair and bring it up with them because it's usually an internal thing that's really happening, kind of showing it's revealing itself through losing some hair. Now, for my fine hair friends out there, let's reframe the conversation because I am not interested in being like a hair shamer. Like, I don't think that that's cool. I don't think that that's interesting. I think all hair types, all hair densities have their benefits and they also have their cons, right? It's always a pros and cons type of thing. So someone with a lot of hair is like, God, I got too much hair. And someone with finer hair is always like, I wish I had more hair. The reality is, is I think you should celebrate what you have. That's the first place to start, right? Reframing it. And also, if you're a person who is handling this from a I'm losing hair and thinning hair kind of situation, it's also important for you to kind of reframe it. Take care of the issue, go to your doctor, see what they have to say, because that's gonna be so important for you to own it. And what I mean by owning it is this, is meaning you go, I've seen the problem, I've addressed it, I'm going somewhere. That way you're not holding on a lot of stress, because remember, stress is also one of the reasons why you might start losing hair. Once you solve the problem, a lot of times that hair will start to come back. Now, let's get on to these haircuts. Going short is a really amazing option because A, you're bringing the hair down, you have a lot more control over it. You know, oftentimes we see a lot of like thinner, finer visibility at the ends. They have a tendency to look weaker. So the longer that hair gets, it just naturally gets a little bit weaker looking. You know, that's true for anybody, um, but it feels really present whenever you have, you know, a kind of cashmere texture. It kind of reads a little bit more like that. So I would say going short. Now, what I also recommend is leaving enough room on top. So this is also a good trick for my friends that are kind of in that like, I'm losing kind of hair category. Um, you actually wanna kind of make sure that you're getting a short haircut where it can all move forward. A, number one, it's an awesome look. I would recommend it for people who aren't losing their hair all the time. It's just a really, really cool way to do it. So you wanna have enough length that it kind of can be manipulated and moved into and kind of worked and kind of create a sexy sense of separation up top. So it's not quite as like super kind of like scalp, like what I would put in the kind of Mia Farrow kind of category. It's really all about kind of keeping enough length but creating a nice shape. That would be number one, that's for those of you that are like, I'm going for it. The longer the hair gets, right? The longer it gets, the more languid it kind of gets. When you have something that's really stationary, meaning that it's landing on a place where it can kind of live with a little less movement, 
you know, from the environment, you really can kind of build up a lot of like volume up in those areas. That's a really key kind of trick if you are willing to kind of go down that road, just think of it like that, it's stationary. They're kind of like a tailored jacket. They're just really like cut in all the right places. They have kind of more of a structure to them. So I would recommend kind of maybe going in here, going in here with your bob, a kind of like what happens is like we're taking one line on this bob right and it's kind of meeting the second layer the second layer and that just kind of all builds out right so and what i mean by layer i mean sections not actual layers so we're really kind of keeping this more one length if you will the reason why is because we actually want that hair to kind of all build up in the same place so if we layer it we're kind of making kind of like we're, we're we're decreasing some of that bulk in here and we want to build that bulk out so i recommend that i also would recommend that if you're a person who's experiencing something that's kind of like on the like the like the thinning side then like this could be a great option for you to kind of like maybe out of bang depending upon where you're starting to notice that visibility some people notice it up top some people notice it in back but if you do notice it more on top then really focus on maybe creating kind of like a bang because the A, that's going to allow hair to move forward. And the same kind of concept that we had when we were talking about the short hair look, you want hair moving forward. A, it builds a lot of like volume. A, it's just a lot of cool look. It's classic. It always feels cool. It always feels fresh. So if you're feeling like, it is just feeling too weak down here, then just go for it. Now, number three is going to be for these people who are like, I'm not ready to let go. I'm not ready to let go of this link. And that is 100% fair and that's cool. Now, what I would say to you is trick the eye, right? So I think we've all seen like really cool kind of like haircuts and they're kind of like, they have a sense of separation at the end. They look more rock and roll. We'll play into the rock and rollness. And how you do that is this. If your hair is like a little finer, a little thinner down here, doesn't mean you can't rock it. It just means that what you can do is that you can add a bang. Now it could be a short, strong bang, or it could even be a wispier bang at the ends. But the important part is that the section of the bang is gonna start further back because that's gonna make it feel more substantial. And when the front of the bang looks really, really substantial, what's awesome is this, is this part that is a little bit has more, more separation to it looks like a choice it looks like kind of like cool rock and rolly so that's an awesome awesome option for people who really are in that space where they're like i'm not really willing to like let this link go it's fair hold on to it you know trim it up a little bit get it a little healthier but you know rock the rock and roll look Couple things. There are some products that you can also use. Powders that build volume are really incredible. I would also kind of use products that maybe are really easy to wash out. Don't clog your pores. Steer clear of shampoo. I know that sounds crazy. If you're using something that is a detergent, which most shampoos are, you're going to really kind of erode the strand itself, it's going to only be weaker because you're stripping it of all the things that it actually needs. You need to move into something that is 100% detergent free and able to achieve a healthy scalp and healthy hair. These are my tips and I hope that they help y'all. This has been super fun for me and we will talk soon, okay? Bye.